Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great day today. Uh, today I want to read a verse of scripture to you from the Gospel of John chapter 8. And this is the story of the adulterous woman and how that they, the, the Pharisees had brought uh, this woman caught in the very act of adultery to Jesus for Jesus to judge her so that they in turn could judge him. And you know the story, they brought the woman to Jesus and they said to her, under the law of Moses, she should be stoned because she we've caught her in the very act of adultery. That's what the law of Moses said. Now, in this passage, you, you notice that they don't mention anything about the man's sins who was with the woman. Obviously, folks, it takes two to tango, so there was a man involved here. Um, and so, but they had no intention of bringing anything, uh, any charges against him, only this woman, because it served their purpose. Now, when they got to the end, we know the story. Jesus said, you know, he who is without sin cast the first stone at her, and everyone began to drop their stones. Before that, though, Jesus had wrote something on the ground, uh, and then again, he wrote something on the ground. And many scholars debate, like, what was Jesus writing on the ground? Some people say he was writing the names of people standing around there and some of their sins. And people that were there close enough to see that got real nervous real quick and began like, uh, you know what, this is not that big a deal because they didn't want their own sins to be exposed. Listen, Romans 3.23 tells us, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. This woman had definitely sinned. All the people around them had definitely sinned and they had no right to judge her. The only person that had the right to judge her was Jesus and he did not do that. This is the last thing that Jesus said to her on uh, this passage from John 8, chapter 10. Uh, it says, When Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Now, there's so many lessons in this passage but the one that I want to leave you with today is the last thing Jesus said to her, go and sin no more. Listen, we all make bad choices that lead to sin. And as we have said in the past, God understands that, but he does not condone our sin. Jesus wasn't telling this woman it was okay for her to continue in sin. He was telling her, listen, I don't condemn you, but listen, let's don't do this anymore. Let's stay away from this. Let's take steps to truly repent of this and move away from this lifestyle. Listen, there's all there's so many things that we do uh, that we, when we make bad choices that lead us to sin. Can't justify any of it. God's word's very clear on these things. We know what's right and wrong. And as as we've said, even though God understands why we sin, doesn't condone it, and He wants and He's just waiting for us to move past that, repent, and turn back to Him. If you got something going on in your life today, look, you're forgiven. You know, Christ forgives you. Move away from it, repent, and get back in right relationship with him. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. I hope that you have a great day. God bless you, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.